This is China Stop Review with a review of the Dettol or Lysol automatic no touch soap dispenser. Um, I bought this one for 10 euros with two soap units included. The machine is well made, looks good, it's cheap. Um, I like the fact that um, you put your hand under it, the soap comes out, it's like you're in a restaurant or, a, or an airport or whatever. What I don't like is the amount of soap that comes out of the thing. So I found an uh, online found an interesting mod to um, get the amount of soap reduced. This will save you money because the um, refills of these things are pretty expensive. There are a lot of videos online already explaining how to refill these um, soap boxes. But uh, in this review and in this video, I'll show you how to um, modify the unit itself so that it dispenses less soap each time you use it. So uh, in the long run that will save you more than refilling your soap cartridges every time just because you don't use as much. Anyway, I found this thing, I found a um, tutorial on how to do it on hub pages. Well, not really a tutorial, so um, I figured out myself how to do it. And that's why I made this video to show you guys how you can do it on your own Lysol or Dettol soap dispenser. Yeah. Step one is to take the batteries out and the soap out of the unit, then turn it over and look inside, you can see four screws at the bottom of the battery holes. Don't unscrew the three scru uh, screws here because you'll unscrew the pump unit that's inside. You only need to unscrew these four screws right there. After that, we're going to take the grey thing out by pressing the eject button and grabbing the entire grey thing and yanking it out. It's very easy. Um, after that, we unhook proximity sensor and then we can take the entire base unit out because as you can see I tried to pry it open with the uh, screwdriver when I didn't know how to open this thing so uh, well a little bit of damage but who cares you can take the entire base out and then you get to the bit where the orange part is that's here in the hole and you have to flip that thingy around to make it dispense half the soap it normally would. So that's what we're going to do today. Alright, after you unscrew the four screws in the base, you can get the grey cover out by pressing the eject button and pulling on the grey bit to get the entire thing off. This is the inside of the soap dispenser. To further take it apart, unhook the proximity sensor and guide it down so that you can take off the base from beneath. So there we go. I've unscrewed the um, four screws in the um, in the battery sockets, right there and right there. And this is the inside of the soap dispenser. What I'm trying to do here, like I told before, trying to get this, the soap dispenser to dispense less soap because the amount of soap coming out is a bit much for my liking. So I found this hub page saying you have to take it apart and flip around the orange valve in the intake nozzle so that's what I'm about to do there you can see the intake nozzle to get the um, the nozzle base or whatever you want to call it off um, you have to just yank it up I'm not going to do it now yank it up so you can get to the base of the thing and flip the orange thing around that's what we'll do. As you can see, I got the bit out. Um, on the underside, you, no, not with the light, but the bit's inside. I'm getting a pair of tweezers and flipping the thing around. This is uh, what the nozzle and the orange thingy look like. Um, there you have it. This way it's mm, rotated when it came out. So what we're going to do is rotate it the other way put it back, see what happens. With uh, reassembling I noticed that it's hard to put the, the base or the nozzle base, whatever I called it before, back on. So first I put the orange thingy on and now I'm going to put the nozzle base on. Yep, that's a good fit. 
there we have the inverse orange nozzle thing with the base of the unit back on this wire goes up here this is the infrared sensor proximity sensor going to put it in here need two hands for this alright with the proximity sensor wired back in it's time to put the grey base back in the most important part of the grey base the on and off switch we want to put it back on the black switch as seen here who is not sharp yet there we go we're going to slide it in there it is the switch is back in make sure that you connect the soap tube correctly you can see that you've done it correctly that if you press it there's soap coming out of the reservoir into the tube then you know it's a good seal and that will draw the soap up to the dispenser afterward alright we're putting the grey cover back next there it is, halfway there, just pop it in. Screw back the four screws in the base of the battery compartment, as seen here and here, to complete the disassembly. Be sure to get a magnetic screwdriver, otherwise you will never be able to get the screw aligned with the hole. I'm lucky with this one because it was stuck at the first place, but um, I'm going to look for a magnetic screwdriver now. There we have it completely in one piece again. Alright, the moment of truth, let's see if the thing works. There we go. And it's not as much, uh, not as much as it was, so I'm happy. Yeah. Alright, moment of truth, let's see if it works. Not yet. Oh yeah.